This is the moment that every mixed martial arts athlete hopes will materialize the number one heavyweight contender making the walk for his first title fight here in the U.S. I mean, the nerves are going crazy for this man right now. He's so nervous. Has he done everything he needs to do? Has he not left any stone unturned? He says that he has prepared. He says that his body's ready. His mind's ready. He feels physically good in the spot. He's taking on a long-rated champion. If he's going to get this done, it's going to take something truly special. He does not believe jitters will be a factor here tonight. He has built his career methodically to this point. We'll see if we hear the words and new on the table. time at UFC 200, and they've been bringing big shows seemingly every other month ever since. They call Vegas the fight capital of the world. And if you're talking about a home base for the UFC, you're talking about T-Mobile Arena, home to some of the biggest UFC events ever, UFC 200, Conor McGregor versus Khabib Nurmagomedov. This place has been the home of some of the biggest UFC fights in history. Tonight, you get to take the same walk for that octagon to try to make your mark on this place. Just out of range with that strike. Oh, nice inside kick. Late kick now. He's starting to pile those up. Look at the stats. How good is this action about a minute in? I think I'm gassing out just watching this thing. I'm exhausted trying to call all the strikes that these two men are throwing at each other. What a fun fight. Yeah, hate to be the punch counter tonight. <laughs> oh, nice counter to land the left hook there. Throwing that jab yet again out of range. Best punch in the game. Beautiful jab. Single collar tie here. Straight right hand, no good. Just over three minutes to go, round one. Head kick blocked. You know, that's, that's a big thing whenever you're blocking high kicks, man. You cannot just take the brunt of that kick on one arm. You have to get that cross arm to try and guide that kick so you don't take all of it. Back and forth we go. attempt there. 
Just over two minutes, round one. Under two minutes to go in a back and forth first round here. So pretty good recovery by the opponent after getting stunned pretty good. Gotta capitalize on those opportunities. I mean, you can't waste these opportunities. You don't get them as often as you'd like. So when you get a guy hurt, you gotta find a way to finish the fight. Oh, he's got the single collar locked in the clinch now. Back to the leg kick now, that one's no good. Good series of kicks by him there, DC. He has certainly found his range on the feet. I mean, when you don't check, you're gonna continue to get blasted with kicks. His opponent has not deterred him from keeping on throwing those kicks. And there's that jab. Single leg. Well, he's got his back now. And he's able to work his way back to his feet. And he connects with the punch there. Counter left. So we've lost the 30-second mark in our opening round. Oh, nice right hand by the champ, yeah. 20 seconds left. All right now, a little separation between the two fighters. Gets to the single collar time. Second round, straight ahead. All right, there's the horn. How about that round? He got him badly there early on. You thought that maybe that was going to be the beginning of the end. At the very least here, got to think he's going to try to get him out of here in this next round. J.A., he's on skates. Yeah. I mean, he was on skates. His ability to withstand that avalanche is commendable, but he has to change something as he approaches the next round. All right, so there's the end of the round, and the tide has officially turned a huge head strike to stun his opponent. We'll see which corner can adjust here moving forward. I mean, they've got to be celebrating. They've got to be happy. Everything's working. But the other side has to be concerned. They have to figure something out, make some sort of adjustment to try to change the tide of this fight. Looking to land the right just out of range. And then he throws it over here. Lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Oh, man. Oh, yet again, back to the big kick, and it lands. And once again, looking for that highlight reel KO with that front kick. Both fighters hanging down in the pocket and both landing. Nice strike. Oh, you gotta love the leg kicks, and there it is. He landed another nice leg kick there. Well, champ, I don't see that well, but it's hard to miss the redness underneath that elbow. A lot of bodily investment from his opponent tonight. Yeah, it's an investment. John, it may not pay dividends right now, but the more you go there, the more damage you do, eventually it will show itself. And right now it's starting to show. Kickboxing 101. Superman punch is good. You can tell he's been working on that. Well, now you see some visible damage on the side underneath the elbow. He told us he was going to invest in the body, and he hasn't missed a whole lot tonight. You didn't expect him to do it this time. Oh! Under three minutes now to go on the round. Well, he misses with the left punch there.
Well, his corner was pretty urgent after round one. A little bit lackluster there in that opening round. He has certainly picked up the pace here, and as a result, he has taken control of this second round. Check that last one. Just over two minutes now to go in round two. Nice crack there. Man, look at the redness now almost immediately on the right side of his body. That was a massive high kick. Look at how he turned his hip into that leg kick. Oh, is that a good right hand? It's a jab there. Oh, great block there. Nice, nicely done. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Oh, good work with the jab there. All right, so now his body language really starting to change, and the bruises starting to accumulate. I mean, you're looking at it, right? When you can visibly see the damage on the body, you know that the work has been done. What a beautiful game plan put together by this team. Oh, sidekick. Well done. Oh, perfect timing on the Superman punch. Opened up now. Nasty cut on the bridge of the nose. There's the kick. It's blocked. Stuffs the takedown. No problem. Ten minutes in the books. All right, there's the horn. The round is over, but not before he was cut on his nose from the strikes in that round. Back to the stool. Cut man is in. Should be able to shut that cut and prevent it from becoming an issue moving forward. But, of course, as soon as he gets struck in that next round, it could open back up. All right, the truck has produced some replays from that previous round. Perhaps we can even isolate the strike that opened up that cut on the bridge of his nose. It's nasty, and it's in a bad spot because the reality is when you can't breathe through your nose, you start to open your mouth, but the blood is dripping down into your mouth. How is he going to breathe in order to have a chance to win this fight? All right, here we go with this third round of this championship fight. All right, next round is now underway. DC, any major takeaways after the previous five minutes? That both of these guys are very evenly matched. The matchmakers did a fantastic job when they put these two in the octagon. So even though it wasn't crazy, you got to see high-level mixed martial arts. Trying to establish that jab once again. Nice leg kick. So the blood really starting to flow. Every time that area gets targeted, that cut's getting worse. It's getting worse and worse. And you see the blood start to come down. That is when you start to watch the fighter to see what... Oh! Oh, body kick attempt here, it's no good. Well, it's been a wild fight thus far. Perhaps a contender for some bonus money at fight's end. These guys are gonna have to dig deep. They're both hurt. They're both hurt. You expected it, though. You expected a close fight. You did not expect a war like this, though, where both guys, from the moment they said fight, went forward, got in each other's face, and just beat each other up. It's been tremendous. Yeah. 
just misses with the straight right. All right, so we're starting to see some swelling out of DC. We'll see if he can make some adjustments to this. He's taking too many of these shots at the top. I mean, he's got to move his head right away. He's waiting. He's being reactive. You got to be active in your motions. Oh! Left hand just missed. <laughs> Nicely timed kick to the body for the champion. Any body kick may finish this fight. It does not have to be the front one up the middle. <laughs> Trying to go to the body now with the kick. That one misses. <laughs> well, not only is he still. <laughs> Another one! What a fight. Well, I'm not sure if there's a facial fracture of some kind, but the striking approach has certainly worked tonight. And his opponent is hurting so He's hurting really bad right now. Like every single time a shot lands up top, you can see the damage that it's inflicting. The, the, the work that he has done has been masterful. And now he has his opponent very limited because he can't take many shots to the head anymore. Oh, nice punch there in the clinch. All right, they separate. Now we'll see who can get off in space. Oh, he's really starting to apply pressure on his opponent here. Different approach here in the last couple. Oh, oh, right oh, good job to get the hand up to block the elbow. Kick there. Oh, nasty cut there, right on the bridge of the nose. Trying to go to the body here, unable to find the target. Takedown defense is there. Now he gets a more dominant position with the underhook. He is going to start to drive knees over and over. You got to be careful here, you got to move. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. All right, so the red... Oh! He's got him hurt here. He's got good leg kicks. There it is. Thirty seconds to go on the round. to the single collar time. Look for him to now start to find uppercuts up the middle to try to do damage to his opponent. Oh, nice. Ten seconds to go in the round. Oh, that was snap your head back. Beautiful combination. All right, three rounds down, potentially two more to go. We are headed to the championship round. All right, so there's the horn at the end of the round, and how about the swelling at this point on the fighter's forehead? That is not getting better, ladies and gentlemen. It is only getting worse given all the offense that's coming back. We'll see if they can get the end swell on there and try to keep this fighter in the fight. All right, well, one minute of end swell can only do so much. Let us look back at some of the damaging strikes in that previous round. It doesn't seem like it's going to do much, and if it does, he can't take any more of these shots. He was too stationary. He took everything square on the target. He's got to move his head, and he's got to be proactive instead of reactive in terms of his defense. All right, so here we go with our fourth round of a possible five, and a lot of fighters change up their training camp when they're fighting five rounds versus three. Yeah, you got to change it up. You have to mix things up because fighting for an extra 10 minutes is not normal. Guys don't do this normally. It's a 15-minute fight, so you have to do things physically and also mentally to make sure that you're ready to go to that extra 10 minutes. to finish the fight.
All right, we now go inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at 35 seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by knockout. And...